Good evening, guys. Hey, I wanted to come to you this evening and bring to you a uh, New York Times article that I read uh, during the week about a professor, James Sweet, who is a professor at the University of Wisconsin. He issued an apology for a column that he wrote because he made, gave a very, very mild criticism of the 1619 Project. The professor wrote a column claiming that identity politics might be behind some of this. Now, making inaccurate statements should cause quite a bit of problems. I mean, good God. <laughs> don't we need to consult an expert before such statements can be made? Sweet, who probably has some feelings so sweet about now, um, drew the horribly honest, yet horribly unpopular conclusion that identity politics may be at play. As we wrote, if history is only those stories from the past that confirm current political positions, all manner of political hacks can claim historical expertise and claims that too many Americans have become accustomed to the idea of history as a, uh, a evident grab bag to articulate their political positions. The sweet, sweet's address was met with considerable backlash. Well, considerable criticism and some backlash from fellow historians, many of whom felt the he was demeaning the work of minority scholars by broadly questioning whether their work was driven by identity politics belonged in the historical tradition. Sweet quickly apologized. So guys again, how dare, how dare a white college professor and president of the American Historical Association question whether or not something rings true to historical record. Experts, experts should not discuss and or offer opinions on subjects where their expertise lies without first consulting expert. Did Mr. Sweet not have the foresight to first check with the experts of popular opinion? Have a good week, guys. <laughs> You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...